in the past couple of days, I've actually been dreading going outside. And the reason for that is the weather is absolutely crap. Today, I said, look, okay, let me, let me get out. Because for the first two hours of the day, the weather is absolutely nice. And then the wind starts blowing. So I stay in Kabecha, in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. It's known as the windy city, as well as the friendly city, but the windy city. So for the past two weeks, the wind has been absolutely atrocious. Over the past couple of years, basically all of the camera brands has brought out a multitude of cameras. But a lot of these cameras actually fall into the crack. This is one of those cameras. This is the Canon EOS 90. The Canon EOS 90D is not a well-known camera. People that has been Canon shooters for years, at photographers specifically, would know that this camera actually exists. One of the reasons why I say that this is a photographer's camera, it's a 32.5 megapixel APS-C camera. The people will obviously be put off by the fact that it is an APS-C camera. So from an APS-C perspective, you obviously have the 1.6 time crop factor that is associated with the camera. Majority of your photographers that is out there would rather buy a full frame camera than an APS-C camera. In all honesty, an APS-C camera is not a bad camera at all. You're obviously just taking that crop factor into consideration. People have associated APS-C with a lesser quality camera, which is actually not the case. In the case of the Canon EOS 90D, no one can actually say that this is a bad camera. The one thing about this camera is the fact that you have all of the video capabilities and all of the photo capabilities that you actually need. From a video perspective, you have the capability of shooting in 4K. 4K 30 is the maximum, it doesn't have 4K 60. You have 1080p that you can shoot at 120 frames per second with the camera as well. So that in itself is also is, is obviously a benefit. So it has a Digic 8 processor, a three inch, one million dot LCD articulating display, which is also touch screen. From a shooting perspective, you yeah, have the touchscreen capabilities in order for you to focus. The one thing that will show that this is still a very old school camera is obviously it still has a built-in flash. From a connectivity perspective, you have Bluetooth and you have wireless connectivity. USB connection, you have an HDMI and it's not HDMI, that small HDMI, it's the mini HDMI, so the one between that, which means it's also a lot sturdier, it's a lot more stable. Then you have your microphone input, you have your earphone jack, you have uh, remote control connections as well. The build all in all is absolutely brilliant. You can still feel that this it has a professional feel. Our Coolman. One of the negatives about this is it has a single SD card slot. Photographers that buys this camera specifically would be your product photographers, macro photographers, wedding photographers, can do your wildlife, nature, uh, landscape and so forth. Uh, just the one thing that obviously the frame rate of this thing when it comes to photography is not that high. So you have a 10 frames per second when it comes to shooting. So for a wildlife photographer, it's obviously a little, it's, it's too little. You want something that is a little bit faster, especially if you're going into sports photography and so forth. If you're shooting birds and so forth, bird photography, then you might want something that is a little bit more. Uh, with this, you obviously have the limitation. However, the APS-C sensor gives you that where even if you have a 500 mm lens attached to it, it gives you that a little bit more zoom or crop in order for you to get the footage or in order for you to get as close as possible that you want to. Yeah, that is one of the brilliant advantages of buying a PSC. Because of the high megapixels, this is definitely a camera that you can use for magazine work, that can be used for large prints, getting all of that detail. I use this for product photography. The details of the photos that I take with it, I can crop into it a lot more because of the 32.5 megapixel sensor that is in here. So the camera has inbuilt digital image stabilization. So this is with digital image stabilization off. 
So as soon as I switch digital image stabilization on, on the first setting, the shot has already improved tremendously. However, it has cropped in a little on the shot. So the first one was movie digital image stabilization. And now I'm gonna go to enhance. Enhance crops it in even further. However, it stabilizes the shot tremendously. And I'm using a normal 50 mil F1.8, which doesn't have here. So the layout on the camera, I think one of the things that they did here is majority of your quick access patterns here. That I can switch between one shot and several. My drive mode here, single shot, multi-shot, self-timer, ISO settings at the top here as well. Spot metering, elusive metering, partial metering, spot metering as well as center weighted average, point zone autofocus, tracking, spot autofocus, one point autofocus. The tracking is not perfect, however it works. So these are all things that we need to consider when it comes to this camera. And for me, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So if it is that you are in the market for a 32.5 megapixel APS-C sensor camera, a photographer's camera for a second-hand one, don't forget to consider the Canon EOS 90D. Especially if you are into macro photography, product photography, and so forth. And this is definitely a camera that you should consider looking into for a second hand buy. It was released just prior to the 2020 mirrorless pass that came out. You can get a, a 90D at a very good price, a very reasonable price. If it's your first time tuning in, thank you for tuning in. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Leave a comment below and say hi and just let me know what you think of the camera. If you have one, let me know what your experiences are with the camera. For everyone that is back here again, welcome back. Thank you again for being for being here and for watching. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.